Hello there. Uh, recently, I had a uh, broadband problem, so I started to investigate uh, my connection. And this is my uh, BT telephone socket. Uh, this is the main socket, everything extension connected to here. On the face place, you can say there's the one socket. And there are two screws fixing the face place to the back place. So I'm going to remove these uh, two screws to say what's inside. After the face place is removed, you can see that there's no wire connection to the face plate. There is a plug on the right hand side on the face plate. And that plug just the plug into the socket on the back plate. On the back plate, you can see there are two screws fixed to the box in the wall. So I'm going to remove the two screws to say how many wires are connected to this back plate. Here you can see on the back plate, there are only two wires connected to the back plate. So the two wires connected very well. I didn't find any problem about my connection. And then I put everything back and tried my broadband router and still no broadband. And then I have to contact my uh, ISP and ask engineer to come to visit. Yeah, the BT OpenRich engineer came over and kindly replaced my old telephone socket with this new version, OpenRich Mark IV. And for this socket, there are two sockets, one for your broadband router and the other for your telephone. So this socket is actually separate uh, the signal uh, to the uh, broadband and the telephone so they won't uh, interfere each other. It was reported that there was a problem affected uh, many broadband users. Uh, after the socket uh, installed and uh, insert my uh, broadband router in and tested everything are working fine. However, I normally put my broadband router upstairs and not downstairs here. And then I tried to plug the extension line and I move the router to the upstairs. There's no internet connection. Why? The reason is the telephone socket on this uh, new version of the BT socket, there's no internet signal. So that's the problem with the new telephone socket. The BT engineer took my old uh, socket uh, face place away, so I have no way to go back to my old socket. So I have to do something with this new version of socket in order to install my broadband router upstairs. Now I'm going to remove the face plate of this new telephone socket. This is the new face plate for the new version of the socket. You can see again, there is one plug and the plug into the back plate. And this face plate is just a clip onto the back plate. So it's easy to remove to install. So there are two sockets on the face plate, but there's only one plug plug into the back plate. So therefore, actually, the face plate separated the internet signal and the phone signal. So on the back plate, it must be combined signal. And then I connected the extension line to this uh, back plate of the new version of the telephone socket. This is my upstairs setup. So I have a main socket and I plug in the power supply for the broadband router there. And I have the uh, extension socket and I use a macro filter. And then I connect the uh, power supply cable, the internet connection cable to the router and it's worked very well since after.